Um, I know I'm still in my ugly green shirt. Uh, it's comfortable, but that's that's not what I want you to pay attention to here. Um, yes, we made we made the comment about why Zambian content creators and content consumers are different and. Um, people don't make it where they're supposed to make it but that's not the thing we as Africa and Zambians in Toto have a very very amazing chance so you, you've heard uh, Studio Universe or UMG Music has pulled out of a licensing agreement um, so there are sounds that have disappeared off of that this is the perfect moment for both content creators in Zambia and music creators in Zambia to start publicizing their music, which can then get turned into sounds like that dude with uh, the Walakwacha sound. Like that, that was a good, weird song. It's a good parody song. And this is the perfect moment for stuff like that to happen because of course we have not so independent musicians in Zambia who are signed to different people um, uh, like Hosta. Hosta is an amazing Zambian artist with an incredible TikTok page that highlights a lot of what's happening in Zambia and what has happened and he's also great at publicizing his music so it's a great moment for that missing market right now to get filled because a lot of sounds have disappeared. Um, I'm not saying it's, it's going to correct what people assume about content creators, but it's a step. If there's a way we can create sounds, music, to fill that gap in humor, we can reach certain people because we, we know for a fact that people don't care if you're starting out. They, they want to see you already make it and then share that love and response with other people. So yes, make those sounds and that music and then publicize it here and then get people to try and use that sound by first making content for your own music and sound. And that would do the thing. 